And welcome back, this is Baller Scoobo with more Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I am joined as always by my forest exploring squad of Bart's Reyna, Galuff, and Ferris. When we last left off, we, well, we were exploring the Mar Forest in search of X-Death. Hopefully we can find him somewhere around here for reasons that I refuse to acknowledge anymore. And as a result of that battle... Gallop got his next level on Red Mage, and there's no way he's gonna keep working on that. Not for a long time, because as you can see, we need a thousand ability points in order to get him to, I believe it is the max level of Red Mage, and that's just not something that I'm willing to do. Uh, so I've put him on something that is, well, the closest thing to uh, what, he's, what he has the next level up for, and that is Time Mage. I b don't believe we do have uh, the ability to move uh, time magic, all the time magic that I've purchased forward for him just yet. So let's go ahead and work on that. He still can equip the healing staff with the time mage. Uh, he can't do that with uh, the other thing that I was considering, which is the summoner class. So I'll probably stick with time mage for a bit here. We need to keep on heading through the forest, and I see a treasure chest up there. Let's see what's in this treasure chest here. We got an elixir. Very, very nice. Uh, now we need to continue heading north. Let's continue heading north. Hopefully we can find the way forward, or we can at least find a treasure chest with a mace in it. Very nice. I don't think anybody needs to equip that, though. Let's head west out of here. Lo small little path there. Easily missed, and what? Uh-oh. Looks like some kind of earthquake or something. It has shaken us. What the? I, I, I don't know. What's going on? Oh, that is fire. And we're in a forest. A forest surrounded by a giant moat, but still a forest, and somebody has lit everything on fire, and it is spreading fast. Apparently, this forest was ready to be burned. That is one fast-moving fire. Ferris. You're standing right next to fire, Ferris. Apparently, Ferris doesn't seem to mind. It can't be! Edsteth is setting the forest on fire! Uh, now... I don't believe there is anywhere for us to go, however, I do want to come up here and grab this treasure chest with an Aegis Shield in it. Now that is a treasure chest you do not have to get now, uh, I will explain that just, you know, in, in just a second, uh, but it is definitely an upgrade for a fair, so I do want to put that on. I do not believe anybody needs that mace, though, uh, to be honest with you, you're not going to be using it, you can probably equip it, though. Yeah, there you go. It is definitely an upgrade from the, the flail, the maze, but no, healing staff, definitely. So you can grab that now, uh, but it is not required. Once again, I'll explain that in a second. But it looks like our path is pretty much cut off. There, there doesn't seem to be any way for us to go. Want, I can't even go back. <laughs> Game, what do you want me to do? No. Unfortunately, this is another one of those instances where we just have to wait. For a Moogle, apparently. There's the Moogle. How you doing, Moogle? What are you doing? Yes, hi. What? How? What? What? Koopa! Apparently, even on Gallif's world, the Moogles like us and are trying to help us. I don't know if they've been told about us, but they are telepathic, aren't they? Let's follow the Moogle and fall to our doom. I mean, we made it. Of course we did. And then... Let's stick around here for a while and see what happens. And then the Moogles kind of block our path on the way out. Uh, that, I think that, yeah, that is the only way out. You can head down here for uh, full recovery, which is always appreciated. But outside of that, we're pretty much stuck here. It doesn't look like there's anywhere we can go. That is not a path. It kind of looks like one. There's no switch. I can't go into the water because it's just a healing water and it doesn't really lead anywhere anyway. But eventually the Moogle does clear the path and we can head up. And you'll notice that the treasure chest here is full. Well, not really. It's closed though, but it's empty. Should you wait and not pick up uh, the Aegis Shield when I did, it would be a flame shield now because it was apparently lit on fire from inside. It was baked inside the chest and has become a flame shield. Uh, I, I prefer the Aegis Shield though, so I'm going to stick with that. And we need to head... I believe we need to head west out of here. There are no new enemies now that the place is burnt though. So let's keep heading west. 
or just take three steps. Either way, game, either way, let's continue on. The encounter rate in this forest is quite high, I must admit. And the, the battles are pretty tough as well. Uh, we get Ash out of there. Now, what is Ash? I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, let's see. Ash, Ash, Ash! There it is! Uh, Thank you for pointing that out to me. That is so useful. That's probably why I don't remember what it is. Uh, so let's just move on and hopefully they'll let us know eventually. I do see another treasure chest on the other side over there though. Let's head over and grab the treasure chest, which has a flame saber in it. The ash, uh, which I did look up, is pretty much useless and I probably will never see it again. Uh, the flame saber though, I believe, is an upgrade for nobody. Uh, unless uh, Bart can use it, which I don't think... Yeah, no. Uh, nobody can use it just yet, but uh, rest assured, it is uh, quite an improvement. So, from here, I want to get into a fight. As a result of that battle, Reyna did finally get that job level up, uh, so I have moved her over to the Lancer, which is an ability... Well, a job that we haven't seen before. I did... Uh, well, she did learn HP plus 10%, which is... Okay, however, since this isn't Final Fantasy VII, I probably won't be using it. I just gave her steel instead in terms of equipment. Uh, she's on the Halcyon Blade, which is pretty much all that I have for her right now, uh, along with a gold shield, gold equipment, and a Genji glove. We'll see how that works out for her a little later. So, we are pretty much done here, but I can head south, which is where I want to go now. Let's get south and out of here, back onto the world map, where I can do uh, some saving and... Well, you might hear some hesitation in my voice. There's a good reason for that. Let me let me rest and, and save, and, and we'll go over that a little bit more. All right, all rested and saved. I have not done any level grinding or anything. That This is definitely a point at which I would normally do that. Not today, though. Let's head back into more forest. You do end up at the end, so I, uh, don't worry about having to go through the entire place again. You need to head straight up here, and we need to use the Elder Branch to get this dead end out of our way. Look there, I did. That is a giant tree. You got a sequoia or something. Elder's tree, the protector of the seal. The branch. Yes, use the branch. It worked for us before. That is some telekinetic powers that you have there, Bart. What the hell? I don't think that worked. Oh, there is a... No, it did work! It opened up a path for us. So let's go ahead and go through the door. Or get into a fight first. Either way. This time, let's go inside the tree. Yes, just what I wanted to do. Inside the Elder's Tree, which is... Kind of strange looking if you ask me. But, if we head inside, the way is shut. What do we have here? What are these? Sealed creatures! I don't like the sound of that. Here they come! Uh oh. And it's boss time! We're up against, uh, well, we don't know. They haven't given us a hint. There's no other way to put it. I am more than likely going to lose this fight. There's there's no way else for me to put that. Um, what I'm going to try to do here is um, go through this fight legitimately the first time. Uh, what we need to do is actually cast a float on everybody. Uh, that will definitely help us out. Um, I will... Yeah, there we go. Uh, just these physical attacks, they're not going to be that big of a deal uh, in the short term. I will need to, to heal eventually, uh, but right now, let's for, for now, let's just focus on, on one of these at a time. Uh, we'll focus on the first one. They don't give us a name, so uh, I don't have a name to give to them. Uh, we are seeing the Dragoon for the first time. I would love to say that jumping helps, uh, but without a spear, it really does not. If we could get a sword dance off, that would be greatly appreciated. Gallif is still going to be the designated healer for this, um, as he 
always is. Uh, let's go ahead and try to aim yet again. Uh, this is starting to eat at us a little bit, though. This is not going so well. These guys are doing pretty good damage. Like I said, this is a tough fight. Uh, one that I don't truly expect to win right now. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to be giving it... Well, not necessarily my best, but I I'm giving it what I'm giving uh, most fights that I've been encountering to this point. Swords Dance would really help out. Very nice. We finally got a miss after all this time. They are doing quite a bit of damage. Once we can get one down, that will definitely help us out. I should probably start going for some magic here. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for Aquaroid. See what that does. And now I definitely need to heal Ferris. That definitely needs to happen. There we go. Some good damage across the board. And he just does it right back to us. And damn near kills us all. And uh, Galafield himself, very nice. That would not have happened in previous games. That is not so cool. Uh, unfortunately, one with this game, with this fight, uh, what typically happens is once you get them under a certain amount of HP, they'll start spamming very, very difficult attacks on you, as, as you can see here. And there goes another Aqua Rig, and we're pretty much screwed. Galaf cannot finish this guy off. Uh, but that is just how this fight. Goes. Yeah, I wasn't going to get that attack off anyway. So, that is what we are up against. I'll show you a way, hopefully, of getting past these guys without an intense amount of level grinding. As you see, we didn't really stand a chance against them. Poor, poor party. Okay, I think we are ready. Well, I'm ready. Hopefully. This is, this is a strange setup and one that I have tried before and it hasn't worked out for me in the past, but I'm hoping it works out for me now. Uh, I have everybody as a summoner, and they're all floating. That is important. Floating is important, even though I never really got a chance to show why. Um, the way that we want this to work, um, everybody has, you know, equipment that doesn't really play any part of what we're going to be doing. Uh, so they're all in the back row. Nobody's going to be attacking. Everybody's a summoner because that's how we're going to be doing our damage in terms of ability. And, you know, nothing that important. Uh, magic Wall for Bart. Uh, Steel for Reyna. White Magic for Galuf, just in case. And uh, Learning for Ferris. Uh, once again, just in case, I'm kind of hoping that uh, we don't learn anything in this fight. Because uh, it's so damn hard. Uh, very, very important. Battle Mode. Up to weight. It, well, it needs to be on weight. Battle speed, as slow as you're willing to go. I'm willing to go all the way to six, uh, but really as, as low as you're willing to go. That is important. Okay, let's go ahead and go inside. Hopefully I can get this setup working. Uh, I have done a couple attempts and I have failed at it, uh, but that's pretty much due to my lack of uh, trying to use math as we go along. Uh, they're sealed creatures. Of course they are. So we need to wait for these guys to come down. We have seen this cutscene. We are up against this four very, very difficult uh, crystals. That's the best way to put it. 